Mike here from SparkFun Engineering to tell you a little bit more about the features and benefits of our FreeSock 2 demo board. The FreeSock 2 is a full-featured development board for Cypress's PSOC 5 LP processor line. The PSOC 5 LP has an ARM Cortex M3 processor with 256 kilobytes of flash and 64 kilobytes of RAM. More importantly, however, they have reprogrammable digital and analog peripherals inside. What that means is that projects which formerly would have taken a lot of external hardware now can be implemented entirely within the device. As an example, I've created this gaming chair. It's based on a concept that I've been kicking around in the back of my head since I was in high school, that a joystick shouldn't have much deflection at all while you're playing a game, and that you should have as many buttons as possible underneath your hand. To achieve this, I made a gimbal out of Actobotics parts and then attached some load cell sensors to the axes. When the user shoves against the stick, the cells flex and a small analog voltage signal is created. Normally, you'd need an external amplifier to use these cells, as the signal is far too small to be detected by something like an Arduino. However, the PSOC has some internal amplifiers and a very high-resolution analog-to-digital converter, which has allowed me to connect the cells directly to the PSOC. Another nice feature of the PSOC is the internal universal digital block subsystem. These generic programmable logic blocks allow you to implement in hardware features that might ordinarily require substantial software overhead or an external component to operate. In this case, I used the UDBs to grab and count the signal from four rotary encoders. Unlike other solutions, this requires no software overhead and no external hardware. Another place the UDB system really shines is driving WS2812 type RGB LEDs. If you've ever tried driving these from an Arduino, you know that they require a lot of processing overhead because the processor has to count cycles in order to generate the waveform. The UDB peripheral created on the PSOC allows the processor to spend its time doing more important things and offload the waveform creation to an onboard peripheral. The PSOC also supports normal hardware peripherals like I2C and UART through built-in dedicated hardware so you don't have to burn UDBs implementing common peripherals like those. In this case, I've used one of our soon-to-be-re-released SX1509 I.O. expander chips to reduce the number of wires I had to run from one side of the chair to the other. The PSOC controls that over an I2C connection running through a ribbon cable. This whole contraption is connected to my computer through USB and enumerates as a joystick and a keyboard. PSOC Creator has a robust configuration utility for configuring the USB descriptors along with several common devices built in and example projects for many more. I've really enjoyed putting this project together. All the source code and instructions can be found on GitHub and are linked in the description below. Take a look and see if it gives you any ideas for your projects.